Welcome to another Ramadan vlog, guys. Um, hope your first week is going really, really well. Hope you're all benefiting and oh, look at my little kitty. Hello. Let's see if we can zoom in on her. Eating some grass. Anyways, how can my mum prepare the, prepare the iftar? So just chopped all these onions, which is why <coughs> my eyes are all red and teary. Because of flipping bees. Um, she didn't do that with my left hand because I can't actually stir it. Then she's making roast lamb, guys. Look how scrumptious. <laughs> okay. I know it looks a bit off-putting at the moment, but it's going to look delicious. Very shortly. And then you don't look at yeah, my sister, such an idiot. She basically wanted to melt a bit of butter, so she decided to put the whole, um, the whole thing of butter in the microwave, and like she melted the, the entire thing. And obviously, my mum's refusing to waste it, so we've all been using like this melty butter from the plate. Ratchet. So my sister's coming over for iftar today. I'm gonna head in the shower now and I will catch up with you later. Guys, so what everyone's been doing for the past however many days is doing word search competitions and Amna's just a bang out and she just, she literally wins Traders. every single one. This one today was celebrities. Why would I help you with a competition? I'm like, I don't know, she just started getting so fast. No, I was actually really good. Asya did really well in But I basically really? lost because I, I had the most, I had the most left. Oh my no! Like, I just don't think I'm very good at word searches. So Asya, <laughs> she beat Amna for the first time in history of our word search challenge, and we're just really, look at her face. we're really proud of her. Look at the face of the slapped ass. <laughs> Amna's got the <laughs> Amna's got the face I'm of a slapped ass. Something she's still doing. What? I finished. Get out of my face. <laughs> Guess who's come to visit us? I don't know if he. What about? <laughs> I mean, no, I don't know if you remember. Of course you'll remember. Oh, Roro. Do you know, I think the last time we were on the vlog was Morocco, 2018. When was that? 17. Was it 2017? That's ridiculous. Oh, Anyways, guys, Roro oh. is a whole mother to the most beautiful little baby in the world. <laughs> no, guys, she is just a little darling. You don't understand. Look at her shoes as well. <laughs> style of being. <laughs> Oh, she's doing the oh, little cute face. Hello. And she had the little one oh, in her hair. Do this to the camera. Say peace. She doesn't know peace. She, she does. She does. does. Of course yeah, she knows she peace. It. She's Roro's child. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, so I'm heading to Tarawi soon. I've been waiting for my friend for the past hour. She told me to be ready an hour ago. And I was ready. And this is what you get for being punctual. <laughs> anyway, see ya. Ready? See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs> Right guys, so we're at the mosque, um, we made it, um, even though we're, we're quite late to be fair. Okay, like, I need to stop recording because it's embarrassing, everyone's looking at my So Zach got some free tea and he's enjoying every sip of it. Is it yummy? Yeah, it's nice. You said green tea? No, I said, I didn't say, I didn't masala specify, chai. masala chai. So we just finished our tarawi prayer, came back from the mosque. Um, we couldn't finish all of them this time. Do you know what I could, but then this one was like, I'm just going to go sit at the back of the really and put it on. So I was like, all right. <laughs> I was like, my No one told you to follow me. I know, but I just, you inspired me, you know? Oh my gosh, so we're back in Tesco again. This is the massive Tesco, like the big Tesco. Um, this is a new flavor. And we're in the snack aisle, obviously, because where else would we be? So these two came for one thing, yeah, cream. Just tell me why this is the basket. Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Ramadan. I should say salam, guys, shouldn't I? Salams, guys. Um, welcome back to another day of Ramadan fasting. This is like the sixth day, it's going so fast, as usual. Anyways, I'm off to meet my friend now. Friend? Friend. Anyways, I'm off to meet my friend for iftar. Um, we're probably gonna go to Isa and the mosque first to like pray and like break fast and then there's so many places around there to eat. So that's what I'm gonna do. Not gonna take the camera though, probably gonna just vlog on my phone as I have been doing when I go out because it's just easier or maybe I will bring the camera because sometimes I feel like no I'm not bringing the camera <laughs> I'm not bringing the camera because I don't have like pockets big enough today but um yeah we'll see you 
I'll see you at East London Mall. We're at the mosque and bless them they've given us food. We didn't realise they actually give like proper food food. Um, so maybe we don't need to go, maybe we can just get dessert after. Oh no no no, I need my shawarma. Okay, she wants her shawarma. <laughs> so we just finished our delicious ifbar provided by the mosque. Um, and now they've given everyone some Somali tea. Even though I'm lactose intolerant so I'm not going to have any. But my friend said it's delicious. Anyways, we're probably going to go get some dessert now. Because I am still a little bit hungry to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, so this looks stunning. Like, this is a famous Sebastian whatever cheesecake thing. And we have like all these milk cakes, even though I'm lactose intolerant, I'm just gonna have to burn it. We're in a moment in Bendy and we pronounced that so terrible, so I do apologise and correct me if I'm sorry. We ordered the Canada Turkish Cranberry, which I love. I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to say,
um but yeah so this is that it's in a gray color i can't remember if it had other colors but um i really really like this then next is one of my also other favorite pieces this like hairy type of um slightly high necked jumper and it's got like flared bell sleeves which I really like and they also have this in like blue and by the way sorry guys everything's from weekday um this is all like a gifting from weekday so yeah all this stuff is from weekday and you should be able to shop it all now because it was from like the new arrival section so they had this guys they had this in the most beautiful blue color like a cobalt blue but I think my size was out of stock I can't actually remember or I just decided on the green and they also had this in beige next oh guys this this is also, I can't lie, this is also one of my favorite pieces because I've been wanting one of these for a while. You can't actually tell what it is. It's a very, it's like a basics. Um, it's just, you know those zip up, it's just like a zip up fitted uh, hoodie thing, but it's ribbed. It's also ribbed. Um, and yeah, it's also got a hood because a lot of them I see don't have hoods. And then it's got the double zip so you can do the, do you know the thing at the bottom where you like, unzip it slightly from the bottom and it just creates like a, a nice silhouette in my opinion so that was that yeah so i got these sunglasses the thing is guys i'm not really i thought i was into the, this type of sunglass look but then i realized i'm actually not i prefer just like the classic you know just like the classic sunglasses that not all of this funky stuff but um they're cool i can't lie they're cool so yeah add those to my collection and then oh you can't even see here but basically I got these flared, <laughs> these flared denim, flared denim black jeans that you can't actually see properly, but they're very, very comfortable, and um, yeah, they're just, they're just like a good staple piece to have, I guess, in your wardrobe. So yeah, I will link everything in the bio. Let's hope I don't forget. Hopefully, when I edit this, it will remind me. But um, yeah, that was my little haul for you guys. Sorry that you can't see any of that on, but go to my Instagram and you'll be able to see like a reel or like a post or something. there'll be something up there. Um, so yeah, anyways, see you later. I'm so sorry, but cats are the cutest things in existence. Hey guys, it's Friday today. Um, I'm just always extra happy on a Friday because it's Friday. It's been a long week at work because I think fasting and stuff. So I'm just happy to have the weekend, alhamdulillah. Um, got a few things to update you on. Firstly, I went to an appointment today guys um, in the afternoon for my um, to treat my skin under my eyes because for the longest time guys I've had very like red under eyes like you're not going to be able to see it now but like I mean, actually you can look you can see them even through the glasses um, and it's like that's been like the one thing that I've always wanted to fix but like I just I just didn't really know how and you know when like you have something to do but you just don't do it because obviously there's no pressure because like where I can just wear concealer but like I don't want to just have to wear concealer when I want to cover my red under eyes I just don't want to have red under eyes you know obviously it's a first world problem but like it's something that I've always wanted to like fix you say fix but you know what I mean um so I went to Harley Street number seven Harley Street called they're called Aesthetic Skin Cells that's the name of their clinic the um, doctor's names are Dr Sana and Yusuf and honestly oh my goodness Sana shout out if you're watching this you're definitely not watching this she is the loveliest kindest sweetest lady in the world so obviously in this kind of profession you have to like have good people skills and she's just yeah she's honestly just so lovely like so I'll be having treatment across the course of six months to help my under eyes become, um, yeah, become less red and just kind of like fix them. And I'm so excited because guys, you don't understand. I've literally wanted this my whole entire life. Um, someone's calling me once. I visited them today for the consultation. They literally like, they answered every single question I had. Um, they were just so lovely. I'm gonna keep you updated, guys, on my under eye journey, my progress. I'll probably also like put some updates on Instagram, so have a look out there too. Um, I'm just so excited. Like, I'm so, 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 so excited. Um, it's a very costly thing, though. I can't lie to you. Um, it is very pricey, but it's 100%, for me, it's 100% worth it anyway. So, um, 
yes anyways i'm also guys i'm also not fasting today um a surprise arrived for me this morning and i was just like oh to be fair i'm not i'm not mad about it because alhamdulillah that means i'll be able to be fasting in the last 10 days which is all the most important so yeah i need to i haven't actually eaten all day even though i'm not fasting and it's 4 30. i feel like i say this in every single video like i haven't eaten all day anyway the door's going so i should go get that i'm going out with my friends for iftar today um and my cousin and maybe my sister will be there too um so yeah even though i'm not fasting it's still going to be cute wholesome vibes we're going to go i think regent's park mosque to like break fast and then probably just go eat somewhere in central or take you with me this time i think i'm gonna actually try to take the camera because i don't know i kind of just it makes it more official when i'm vlogging on my camera but it is a lot longer and if it's raining because i got caught in the craziest rain um this afternoon when i went to my appointment um even though i had an umbrella but do you know like umbrellas are just so crappy and they just break in the wind that essentially was what was happening to mine but i got soaked so i'm not going to take the camera if it's still really rainy out there um but yeah anyway work's over now so i'm just gonna quickly eat something get ready and then go so i'll see you lot at regent's park mosque inshallah sorry guys but i won't be taking you as in the actual camera with me because i looked outside and it's raining and then i looked at the weather forecast rain 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 the whole bloody evening so need this and i will see you on my phone oh my god look how more in the camera guys we made it to the mosque this little cute little boy was handing out dates right at the entrance but like i'm not passing so i don't need one um, and so the rain is just not stopping and we're now on the way to get some food at Ezra Road. I don't know if you probably can't hear me. Let me show you that the, this is from my YouTube vlog. So I got two types of vlogs going on. Yeah, babe. <laughs> As in, I restarted. So this is the leftover of my chicken shawarma. These are the crusty, dusty yeah, chips. <laughs> Left the shawarma place. Um, come to Sainsbury's because I love supermarkets, don't I, guys? Um, and then I think we're gonna probably just go get some like dessert or tea. And then yeah, so I'll see you there. All right, guys. Um, so we've come to United Bridge. Don't even see cars in the background. We're gonna go to Carrick and Chai. By the time we finished going to the toilet and stuff, they said 20 minute wait and apparently we're 20 minutes in the toilet. Asha, why'd you take so long in the toilet? Me too, relax. Um, basically, guys, the reason I take so long in the toilet sometimes I'm is, No, I need to explain to the people. I gotta clean my Invisalign every time, like, gotta brush it, gotta wash it, then gotta brush my teeth. It's just a long process. But yeah, let me show you the table. It's just like cute little cozy vibes. I don't know if you've ever been to what's it Carrick and Chapati. Here's the menu. Yeah. 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 Did you call them? My cousin is just the freshest of fresh, and she brought her own tea bag to give in Carrick and Chapati. She just, <laughs> she just asked for hot water. Hi guys. <laughs> Yoss got this delicious chapati. I got this last time actually, but I couldn't justify the price, so I didn't get it today. I don't know, but it just was, I feel like I can make this at my yard. It's mint tea, it's, it's, the mint tea here is £4.20. I got 20 bags for £90 from <laughs> Sainsbury. Cost of living crisis. I think they just switched all the lights out on us. They made it dark. They're trying to kick everyone out, but like, it's pitch black. What the hell? Going home on the station. Everyone's left home all alone. So sad. Um, that's the only thing about like when I go out to the south lot I'm always left at the end by myself to go home to east and I'm just like why don't I have a chauffeur <laughs> well, why don't I drive back home guys alhamdulillah had a really nice day very tiring though like I'm so <laughs> I'm knackered guys absolutely knackered mate absolutely finished today was really cute nice to see everybody as usual 
um it was so cute because like last year or actually no not last year like during covid stuff like as we were coming up covid like us four us five plus like your sister maria we used to like have this little cycling gang we used to like go cycling every like weekend and it was just really cute um but we haven't done that in ages like we haven't like hung out together in a while as in like that group it's not really a group but you know what i mean um so it's just nice isn't it it's always good vibes always good vibes with them lot but um yeah so i'm just gonna get ready for bed but before, <laughs> before i go to bed you lot know I have to eat some food because no offense Yoss if you're watching this that short of my place it did not do it for any of us I don't think I think it only did it for you babe to be fair I only had half a short wrap and then I gave the other half to my sister so I've not really eaten much today tomorrow what we've got planned tomorrow oh tomorrow guys I have a lymph drainage massage um on my neck and face area and I think it's just like I don't know if i have inflamed lymph nodes i feel like we probably all do i've never got them drained in my life but um a friend told me i should get a lymph draining massage i took it quite i was quite offended by that comment because i think they meant it as in like have a fat face but i do have a fat face but no <laughs> also it's just a very like um it's like a healthy thing to get done every now and again um just drain your lymphs lymph drainage something like that lymphatic lymphatic drainage I actually don't know what the technical term is, but um, yeah, as in like, I think the gua sha is meant to do that, right? It's meant to be like a lymphatic draining tool, but I feel like if you don't know how to use it right, you could actually just block your lymph nodes. Um, like maybe that's what I've done. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Good night. All right, guys, so cooking, a cook, big cooking session's underway with our little chef who I won't show you because she's just, she likes to be humble and anonymous. So we've got the um, the sauce going on here for the curry. Chicken's been lightly fried. Vegetables been chopped. Rice being rice being washed. Carrots been grated and whatever. Dal lentil being soaked. I'll let you know what we're making later, but you can have a guess. It's really not that hard to guess. <laughs> also, the reason why you can't see my face is because I forgot to put my hood on. Hey guys, we've got some progression on the chicken. Sue Chef is doing really well. Thank you very much. <laughs> you didn't get the joke, but I just didn't get the joke, guys. Oh, sorry. I called you the Sue Chef, not the Hodger. I'm not on TikTok back, yeah. Oh, no, I you in the Listen, I'm going to blame Listen, on the plastic because her mind's killing Aisha, me. Oh, she's what? done wash. She, what? She's chopping two onions. Bro, who's done the carrots? Who's done this? Who's done the oh, rice? Who's done the main <laughs> bread? <laughs> Listen, you know yeah, I let you lot, I let her think she's the main chef, but in actuality, she is, she is the sous chef. I am the head chef, she is the sous chef. But it's okay, babe. one day you'll get to my level and one day you'll be able to cook like me. <laughs> so, I've, so I've put uh, a hood on so now you can actually see what we're doing, guys. We've made significant progress. My little sous chef over here is just doing such oh, a great job. <laughs> she's doing a great job, you lot. She takes orders perfectly. I'm very good at delegating. <laughs> the, um, yeah, you just stir those. Yeah, you're stirring really, really well. This is not something that you should add to your vlog. It looks a bit <laughs> silly. No, it doesn't. So this is a mix for the aubergine. It's all going to come together you shortly. Have more rice to it. Yep. Um, I don't know why she's giving me instructions. I already knew to add the rice flour to it, but hey ho. <laughs> then we've got the um, pakora mix, guys. I'm so excited to have some pakora. Oh my goodness. Uh, we've got chinky as well. We've got our guests. Our guests have arrived. They are busy doing other stuff though. Got another guest here in the corridor. But yeah, we don't really care about them at the moment. We will show you them later. So this is Aisha. Stunting, stunting big time. Do you know what? You are not gonna eat today. You can starve and fast for 24 hours. Frizan is an absolute angel in my opinion. She looks like one too, but she doesn't want to. Okay, just always get painted with the bad brush. This is the devil. There's the angel. <laughs> All right, that's enough. We need to create some. Good Let's see what we have on the table so far. Are these leftover bakura and some more stuff. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> I'm gonna dash. So we have some strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, melon. Okay, let's open, let's open this. Ooh. 
Afghan rice with carrots and raisins. And chicken jalfrezi. Wow. Smells absolutely delicious. Look at my feet. God gave her a bless you. May Allah bless you. I need to find her. I need to find her husband. I mean, vlog. She's looking for her husband. She's looking for her husband. Special announcement. <laughs> Guys, I'm taking in um, applications oh, no. for my friend here. She's a chef, she's an intellectual, she's a businesswoman. <laughs> <laughs>